Welcome to Ignani.com. C Programming, Chapter 5 Constants and Variables As we saw in Chapter 2, C supports different type of characters, and they are alphabets, both in upper and lower case, digits from 0 to 9, and a host of special characters. When we mix and match one or more of these alphabets, numbers and special characters, they form constants, variables and keywords. This chapter covers the constants and variables in detail. As in English, even in C programming language, constants and variables mean the same. A constant is an entity that doesn't change, whereas a variable is an entity that can change. A typical computer program involves a lot of calculations. All the values and its results are stored in computer memory. A computer memory is made up of cells, also known as memory location. A set of 8 bits are known as a byte. Most modern computers are byte addressable, with each address identifying a byte of storage. If you think computer memory as a series of bytes, each address in the memory holds one byte. If our computer has 1K of memory, then it would have 1024 elements in the memory array. In order to make it easier to access, and use the values stored in these memory cells, they are given names. For example, a value 5 is stored in a memory location, which we name it as X. In our code we can use X to refer to the memory location or to access the value in that memory location, as in this printf statement. Now if we store a new value say 8 in the same memory location, the old value will be replaced, but still the name given to the memory location is X. Since the value stored in such memory locations may change, the name given to such locations are called variable names. In other words, the location name which can hold different values at different times is known as a variable. However, the values 5, or 8, always remain the same, they do not change and hence they are known as constants. Constants are used like variables, but its value never changes. There are ways in which you can name these constants as well, either by using hash define, or by using the const keyword. I will cover these topics in detail later on in this course. Types of constants in C Constants in C can be broadly divided into two categories. Primary constants, and secondary constants. Primary constants are further categorized as Integer Real And character constants. Secondary constants are further categorized as Array pointer, structure, union, enum, etc. In this chapter, I will only be covering primary constants. Secondary constants are covered in detail later on in this course. There are certain rules, that have been laid down in C for constructing the primary constants mentioned above. Let me explain them to you, since they form an important part in learning C programming. Rules for constructing integer constants An integer constant is a memory location, used to store a whole number, without a fractional or decimal value. Integer constants does not allow any special characters, including space, or comma, within an integer constant. An integer constant must have at least one digit, and decimal or fractional numbers are not allowed. Integer constants value can either be a positive or negative number, within the allowed range of numbers. Unless a sign is specified, the values are positive by default. The range of an integer depends on the type of compiler you use. The range for integer constant is from minus 32768, to plus 32767 in case of a 16-bit compiler where the size of the integer is 2 bytes. For a 32-bit compiler, where the size of the integer is 4 bytes, the range also increases. In recent days, the 32-bit environments are getting outdated, 
and 64-bit environments are taking over. So the 16-bit environments are more or less are just in the books. For the course, we are using a 32-bit GCC compiler. This means, that in a 32-bit environment such as ours, every integer variable will occupy 4 bytes in the memory. These are some examples of integer constants. Rules for constructing real constants. Real constants are usually known as floating point constants, which can be used in two forms, fractional form, and exponential form. In fractional form, a real constant must have a decimal point. Its value can either be positive or negative, with positive sign being the default sign. Real constant should have at least one digit, and does not allow any special characters, including a space or a comma within a real constant. These are some examples of real constants in fractional form. In the exponential form, the real constant has two parts. The part appearing before E is called mantissa, whereas the part following E is called exponent. The mantissa part, and the exponential part, should be separated by a letter, E. The mantissa part can either have a positive or negative sign, with positive sign being the default. At least one digit should be there in the exponent part, which can either be a positive or negative integer, with positive being the default. The exponential form of real constants can be used if the value of the constant is either too large or small. However, nothing stops us from using it for other purposes. These are some examples of real constants in exponential form. A character constant is a single alphabet, a single digit, or a single special character which is enclosed within single inverted commas. The quotes should always point to left. While the editors, or IDEs handle the quotes properly, if you happen to copy the code from any other source, make sure they are not pointing in different directions. Types of variables in C Variables are classified in the same way as constants except that their values can change during program execution. As with any language, even in C language, the types of variables which it supports depends on the types of constants that it handles. A particular type of variable can only hold the same type of constant. For example, a character variable can only hold a character constant, while an integer can hold only an integer constant, and same applies for real variables. In other words, the categorization of variables is same as the categorization of constants explained earlier. Though the rules for constructing different types of constants are different from each other, the rules remain the same for constructing variable names for all. Rules for constructing variable names A variable name can include any combination of 1 to 31 alphabets digits or underscores. However, the length is not the same with all the compilers, while some allow up to a maximum of 200. A variable name cannot start with a number, and it should always be an alphabet, or an underscore. Commas, or blank spaces, are not allowed within a variable name. Underscore is the only The rules for constructing variable names remain the same for all types of primary and secondary variables. The next chapter shows how to use constants and variables in C. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.